projects are starting to There's one couple over in the Tangawa place, isn't it, Michael? Yeah, that's good. On that bloody cream over there. I know it's good. In the future, I must take the guys put the put the grub screws out here somehow. Yeah. 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 But this has got the latest valves on it and I don't want to be knocking these around because you know we uh, go onto other sites. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This is going to close it yourself. And we haven't used the head, we're not gonna use the HMI because we've got that critter in there that can come along and go, oh there's a valve faulty. Turn it back on, you're in here, shh, gone. You want complete control of that valve. So that's, that's why this remote airline is. So short. that's basically isolating what will let, you know, yep. no one else has got any yep. input in the valve now. But you can take that valve off. As you're doing mixed proofs, they take a long time to empty their canisters. I just leave the air on and let us go airs. And I want a quick release, because I'm gonna, and I'll show you that on the bench too, where it's handy, all right? Or you can sit there and wait for it to... But sometimes it just seems like forever. So you just take it off and then turn the tap off or do whatever. So that's what I meant by quick release. That's what a quick release tap would do. I want to hold this halfway up. Like I said to you, because I'm bleeding along before I crack my RJTs. That's the beauty. Now watch. The tap has to be in good condition to do that, but it's sitting there and now it's halfway. We're waiting around just turning the fat, waiting for all the water to drain out. If the water is in here, excuse me, right, I've only got this time for it to drain. Five seconds. Do you understand what I'm getting where I'm going with? So I've got a tank that's full of water. The, the butterfly that I'm meant to service might be passing, so there might still be water through there, might have a bed space, the seal might be stuck, I've still got a full pint of water, I want to empty that tank, right? If I keep sitting there all day doing this, I'm only moving a certain amount of water. So to basically drain it, I'm gonna pop my tap up halfway, and sit away. Now I've got both ports open. So it'll continue to fun. That's the, the good thing about having a, a that's the point I'm making. Because before you even get into that manifold, you want to make sure all the fluid's out of it. Because a big four inch line full of fluid over 10 metres is a lot of force. Pop a valve out and take the clamp off. You'll end up with it in your lap. Okay, so, ear off, de energise, the stem comes up. And in that instance, we know that our plug is sitting in this body here, and the lowest seal is off its seat, so therefore it is open drain, normally open. If it was the lowest seal on the lowest seat, it would be normally closed. It'll take you a while to get that in your head, but that's what you need to tell yourself before you do this stuff. It's what you need to tell your crew. Okay? You make sure you know what orientation that valve is being energised. No air, no electric. So if you have a power cut, What's going to happen? Where's it going to go? Right. So, we said it's normally open. We'd put our pen, we could put normally open on here, we'd probably have an ASCII number on there, right? And we might put one on the pipe, depending. Our guys normally just put the ASCII tags right on here. We put a number, this is 234, 234, 234. And another handy thing to do is mark your clamps. So, get a marking pen and just put a dot here, dot, dot, two dots, two dots, two dots, two dots. That's all you have to do. You pull it out. Can I lift this valve out of its clamp right now? Yes or no? Yes. Do I agree? Yes. Okay, uh, 10 mil spanner. Ratchet spanners is what we normally use. Go on. see one, one window is bigger than the other. That's it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so we're safe. When we put air onto this actuator, we get spring pressure plus air pressure. And that makes hard 
for you to move. So if you need to move the flats inside your apron, or your yoke, which is probably the first, the better terminology, I would just call it apron. Right. See, I can't get a 17 in there. Yep, I can't get a 17 in there. I can get a 17 on the bottom, maybe on the bottom. You can? Yep. Huh? So what I'm going to do is get up in the five bar. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Pop that in there. Okay. No, I was just going to see if I can get that little 17 there in there. You bastard. Some hound has been in there touching it. <laughs> okay. Turn the actual out. Now you try that, come try it. You can move it in there. Okay, that's the only time. If you try to do that with air on it, it's uh, damn near impossible. Right? And then you've got that you've got that danger there. You're mucking around with the live valve. Yeah, really you've got stuff in there. Yeah. There is no way you will move that now. Well you will, but with good luck. So the point here that I'm trying to make is that you want to get the top flat, this top flat here. Right, into a position that that old mate can come along at two in the morning and just know that all he has to do is this. So that, that won't move over time for any reason. Should not do. Should not do. Um, yeah, it's a floating stem. Yeah, yeah. But could. I don't see much of them, and in that case, you're probably going to need to. So, John, would you ever actually do that, or would you? More likely to sit it on the bench, energize, and then undo the stem. No. And do it up. Yep. So you'd always do it this way. Oh crap. What I'm doing like that, no no, I'm not doing I'm not servicing the valve. What I'm doing is I'm making sure that the next guy, he's got the right alignment there. And you 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 are potentially right. Over time as this weakens, it could possibly turn. Turn, but why would this be the whole thing has to turn? Mm. You know, it's loaded on its seat. Yeah, but in between strokes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Anyway. Have you found it? Um. Right. So that's the one and only time that you really want to be in here doing this. And I've already loosened it off anyway. Right? And the point the thing is, is loosen it off just enough to get the air back off again. Yeah, and then you can manually do it. And then you can manually do it. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Right, another thing I'm going to show you, this, this has got anti-seize on it, I can see. Right, so I'm safe. I've got a dead valve and I'm now safe. The yeah. airline popping off isn't going to hurt me. But what I wanted to show you, and it's probably better with a little ice than that, is this. I've marked my valves, I would have put usually a dot on the, on the gate, dot there, dot there, dot there. Yeah. Just makes it easier to set up. If you have to do an extra set up later, that's fine. Okay, there's your reversible sit. You know, you can work with that. Alright, again, try and keep to the same side if you can. And, this is um, and there's a tool for taking it out. Nice. It's an old pick, yep. It probably needs a little bit of a tickle up now. Yeah, something like that. It's a new tool. It's a fancy one, isn't it? You can't. I haven't seen any of those. You can find every little single bit. You can find every non-stainless part as a kit. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I usually fire these across the room. Yeah, it's a small thing. Now the little bushes are going to be there. Yeah. Now, for a start, did you see how that came out? Yeah. That was in the wrong way, I thought. I thought that flipped over. And it can be done, and it's full of silicon. Do you put lube on that before you put it in? No, not you that put much. them in dry? No, I put it in dry, and then I do the inside. What's the point of having silicon on in here? It sits so in there like a bug yeah. trap. It grows yeah. a whole lot of bloody packages, you know. This has probably been all siliconed up so that it's easy for someone in a <laughs> yeah, yeah. box and borrow it and pull yeah. apart and put back yeah. together, so it's probably not a true reflection of what John's trying 
Yeah, watch this board. This is the tricky part. Okay, so this one comes out here. That's all we need. What I'm asking you to do here is just listen for the sound. There's the acetal porch tree. It's a cornish yeah. top hat, right? Yeah. This should protrude one millimeter from the top of the bottom. Uh -huh. Out here. Okay? If you go too far, what happens is that you end up breaking the top hat off. It sits in there and starts chewing this out. So what you do is place it in there nicely, get your little tool, and listen for the sound to change. You hear it? Dum. That was that last one. I've done this so many times I just know when to stop flipping. You smack it any further, that dents that you put on there start making start making this nice little helix that corresponds with this. Alright, so therefore just be careful. You see bush does not come in the kits. It's only a change our wear part later on. But again, keep yourself some, some handy just in case you do get some. But if that's getting smashed in there, start looking at the plug, what state the plug is. Right? So you guys can have a go. Have a go, pass that around and I'll move on to something else. We really need to get more. Yeah, I'll watch you. Yeah. 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 Okay, rule of thumb when you use the actuator, when you, when you service the actuator, Right? We want the locking wire to go on clockwise and we want the, clock, the locking wire off anti-clockwise. If we all do the same thing, no problem. Locking wire off anti-clockwise. And again, we have a tool for that. You guys should have a tool. You've got like a little... Yeah. Um, that's it. Um, do you want to do that? If it's a non-maintainable actuator, two dents in the end of that. To say don't take the locking wire. Usually has a, a, a triangle warning. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, sometimes they get you to change these actuator bushes here. You, you go through a season where these might break on you. The easiest way I say to you is take take the guts of this out of the actuator and, and screw them in. Don't try to do it over here. You've got the tool that aligns it and everything, but unless you've got that tool. It's, it's going to be troublesome and you'll cross thread these just as you will cross thread the little bleed screws and the water ejectors. Okay, I want to show you the water ejector. It's on there. That's right. When you put a new one in, just give it a little bit of a stretch so it's got a bit of tolerance in there, it stays in there. If you soften that up, it'll last for a long time. Right? But you always, when you're servicing, always carry something big. Water ejector, that's the water ejector. Yep. Okay. This little pot sits on the side of the LKL. A in there and like I said, point it in the direction where it's going to get the least amount of water, where they can spray the chloroform or hoses or whatever. Better still if you're in that situation, then start looking at other options that you control here and, and pipe them off so you only get instrument air coming in and out of there. And it can be done. Okay. Right, what I wanted to show you is I'm going to put air on here and we've got a rag to give this a nice clean. And I will Mm -hmm. A little bit too much anti seeds in there. And as I say, anti seeds food grade. Yeah. 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 yeah, but this will probably bind it. But what I want to demonstrate here is why you don't need, and you should not need. Yep. This one's not working for me. Okay, try and try and get that off now. Okay. You see how, how hard that was? Yeah, you can spin it up real good. I'm not very good on the old wrist action. That could be real good at the moment. Yeah, who's good on wrist action? <laughs> come, and, come and do this one. There you go, yeah. there you go. Yeah. try it. That, as you saw, just done by hand. So it makes no sense for you to get your two 17s in there, wrench on it like you can't. Oh, Michael, did you get one? Get loose on it. Yeah, no. Bullshit, someone must have fucking broken my thumb here. He rang me up the next day. It wasn't me. Where is it? Where is it? So you should have done a fuck up properly in the first place, you silly bastard. So all things going well and to plan, that's that sits all that's needed. 
I'm not saying just to do it up by hand, by all means. What this is, is just a little check. It's just, right? The pyramid, it's always got the smallest point at the top. Yes? Mm -hmm. Right. Have a look at that body. And that's where the sticker, the sticker's also indicating that. But if the sticker's gone, yeah. you go, oh, oh, oh. And what you really need to do is if you, if you can't think about it, get your bonnet and put it in either end of it and see what you see. Tell me what you see. You think so? No, it's for yeah. Okay, so which end? Without looking at it yet? Yeah, well, it's tied to the bottom. Okay. And what hole is saying where? So the tied one at the top is where it's probably going to be sitting? Yeah, it's tied down the top. Yeah. At the bottom it's got a bit of flake. That's right. Yeah. So it's, it's quite easy to get that around the wrong way. Yeah. Big day. Big day, it still work. Yeah, but it, it can, we don't get a leak, okay? Now, you also at the bottom of the hole, you've got this. You've got your, your sick there, mm -hmm. sitting in there, and that is also going to indicate a leak. Right, so if one of these is compromised, depending on which side you've got in, right, it's going to dribble out. And so as soon as you see that coming out of the tank, you know straight away that your, your seat here, and your body seal has been compromised. I call that a body seal, okay? The, the one that's on that um, bonnet. Can you put the bonnet? Um, yep, okay, that's a body seal. I call this a body seal as well. So if you're on the phone here, you're talking body seals, that's what we're talking about. If it's the top piece up in here, it's the bonnet, if it's this, it's the yoke or the apron. Yeah, sorry, that was this here, the stainless steel here, was, was a, a, a modification that they had to make. Uh, they went through a process where they were finding the manufacturer of these wells here were breaking off. And it used to be a little black screw in here, and then the pin top uh, pickup screwed into it. And they were, they were breaking. And you can imagine if they had air on them, they were breaking this thing like a missile. Mm -hmm. So as a countermeasure, they now put this. So it couldn't fly off. So it couldn't fly off. Right, and holds you in place. So they have to really yeah. the head out of the out of its body. That's all you need to do. So you get to that point, you should stop the air. So one of the questions was around this, is where does the actuator or the valve have to be when you take the clamp off and put the clamp on? And that's all right, we'll sort, we can sort that out once we put it back in the manifold as well. Yeah. But the reason our guys put that dock on there is because we don't want to do it. The least amount of movements and stuff we do, it all adds up at the end of the, of the day. You know? uh, and, and you'll be surprised, six inch butterflies under a, an apron on a silo, it ends up fine. <laughs> hey, you've got your watch sitting there, depends how many guys you put in the hole, and then you've got all the pipes running there, you know, all that stuff. It's all, so a valve that, that will say, you know, you would think it would take 10, 15 minutes, is now stretching out to two hours, two and a half hours, and stuff like that. Mixed proof, you know, you know, you know, if you're going to do it completely, two and a half hours probably. By the time you pull it out, put it in, we'll get it done. We can do it quickly, obviously. But in your estimating the stuff, that's really where you want to go. Yeah. Probably, you know, two, two and a half of that, hour, hour and a half of that. Depends how long our lead gets us to school. That's right, that's right. <laughs> 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 now, that's possible. Yeah, that's possible if you've got rotables sitting in your store. If you've got rotables sitting on your shelf, if you've got that quite ready to you're going in the end, you're doing exactly what I'm saying. Popping it off, putting it back in, checking it, and you're out of here. Then you come back and spend your time on it. Yeah. We do have this fear of the complete room that you get ready to go sitting in And that, and that, and that help. Yeah. So getting well, this to here. here do we do it up, do we do it up now? <laughs> now, okay. <laughs> okay. So, so what, um, yeah, yeah. Grant. Grant, sorry, Grant. So, Grant's at that stage, all right? So he screwed it in. He's got air on it. It's live, it's dangerous. Yeah. Right? So now he's just going to put his, he's just now going to, he's going to now check his, yeah. check his Titan. That's all he's going to do. That's all he's going to do. That's all you want to do. Yeah. See, that one's, that one's in the wrong in way. In the wrong way. So can we turn it over? Yes. Now remember, so remember, remember this. This is really important. Don't grunt on it. You don't need to. You're just checking it. You're just checking that it's not loose. Checking grunt. 
Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's all it. That's it. You couldn't undo it by hand when you threw it in by hand. So what are you achieving? Apart from moving metal. That's the point. Probably number better. Question to ask. Do you last week we had um, this top seal? Leaky on one of these, mm -hmm. and we replaced the O ring three times. Okay, and until you can establish what kit comes with this valve, and on these valves is a serial number, and Paul's the guy that can tell you all this stuff. All right, if you give them that serial number and put that into an alpha valve at any time, generally they, they'll tell you what kit you need for that valve actuated and winning. All right, do you guys have access to alpha valves at any time? Are they able to get this? Uh, they should be. Okay, because one is symmetrical and you can flip it either way, it doesn't matter. And of course, they're two different sizes. So there's a big, a big indicator. And you can't. Okay? So we're saying, again, I need you to... And it may suck. That's why I said things when you get it wrong. And the other thing is, once we're in, we'll undo the top pin and we'll turn this around so that these are facing this way. Oh. If that's possible. Oh, but... Yeah, you can. Is that still going to um, no, no. be able to get at it with your... Uh, we'll bring these around to here. Oh, yes, yes, Once yes. you put your clamp on. Oh. Okay. So you want the clamp on there? Yes, please. Can everybody just come over here? This is another thing that's... Uh, you know, this, this doesn't change the world, but again, when you're looking for ease of use and guys are coming behind you to service a breakdown or whatever, putting the clamps in, it's, it's, it's aesthetic, but it helps, you know what I mean? So what Grant's doing is here, he's going to put it in there and then I'm going to get him to change the configuration of the actuator around it just, just so that the control head sits on there and I can get this in here rather than what you saw me trying yeah. to buggerise around in there yeah. Okay, so we need to give the man some air once he's done and we'll just talk your way through it because this is where little accidents happen Can as well. that not be spun now just in that position? So and it's locked up into there? Oh, yeah. yeah. So the bottom clamp is good. No, no, no. Now you have to take the top clamp off. Yeah, not right off. No, 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 take it off. All the way off? Yes. This is the thing. Get your head around this. Because this is what you do. Otherwise you damage your clamp. Now put your ear in there. So. There you go. Turn your actuator. That way? Yeah. Doesn't it, doesn't it look pretty? Come back down. Put your clamp off. So when I say like putting the dots on the apron and everything, this is what helps our guys put this into the mouth hole. If you've got that, there's one thing they don't have to think about. They don't have to get themselves in. You know, some of them I'll come along and complain and say, hey, those LEDs are out of line, can you straighten them up? That's all we've got to do. Loosen your clamp if it's a normally open valve. Put the air on it, turn it around, do it again. No? 30 seconds, 10 seconds. Get yourselves a remote air line like this. Like this big, baby, stretchy thing. You'll be surprised how much time that will save you, rather than a coil of so the just go off the Yeah, yeah. Now the other thing too, I don't know about these ones, but the older, the older control tops, whenever you looked at the LEDs, right, the air in, the air supply, if everything's wiped off it, is always on the right hand side. Okay. Have we got a, we've got a think top basic here? Or? Yeah. Yep, I'm going to show you what I mean. There you go, LED here, right? Yeah. Another thing in the older types is if you have a look at this, wherever this is sitting, your air port uh, into the actuator is, it's always behind the LED. So if this was over here, the LED will be here. There we go. Yeah. When you're looking at the LED, the right hand side is always your air and your supply air. So when you want to put your remote air on and you don't want the operator to come and open and close valves on you, that's the line you're going to be hooking onto. Yeah? Because all he's doing is signalling the control head. He's not applying air. You are. So the first thing I do when I come to this valve is I want to come in, pop off my airline, put it into my remote. I've now got an air supply. And I don't have to go anywhere else. I've just used the air supply off my, off my solenoid cabinet. Yep. Yeah? That's what that is. It's a solenoid cabinet. Remember they used to go over the other side of the factory, piped in through all this junction, and airline's breaking. Blah, blah, blah. There it is right here now. And you've got control of it. That's the important thing. So you can change that. He can, just, he can go back onto this valve if you wanted to. It's just that this is the new, new model, it's upgraded. The benefit is, is that it's got an LED that you see from 360 degrees. Alright? Any questions?
You've got to remember that this is uh, these things are these balance plugs, okay? They come down onto the seal, right? And so if you start putting things and nicks in them, you start to get them yeah. in there. You're going to get nicks and things in there. You're going to start dragging out your guide strips, which is what Luke was talking about, the guide band in there. Yeah. Okay, leave it. And if anything, if anything, open it up, put a bit of clue and just push it in there with your finger, and it'll just keep it parted. When you put this on, put this down just as you see it now, then come by and put this on. And of course, you'll let the air off this, so it'll be lower. I was talking about the bleed. Okay, it's got the yeah. bleed. You don't spend all day here. Versus. So that's probably five seconds. John, do you have your um, your tool that helps you get this off? Is it going to be on block under it or something? Oh, that then? A couple of screwdriver handles. Exactly the same. <laughs> Me and Luke, we mastered it. Well, there you go. We put this in dry. That has to be clean. Put this in nice and dry. And then Luke, in here. All right? Put a good thing. Put this on dry. And then just give it what it is on your hands is probably enough. Remember, it only has to move once. It only has to go up into here, and then it stays there until the next time you service it. So don't put copious amounts on there, because if anything, once it starts getting into these shoulders, it'll just pop that off. Just put it down the side, and you won't know until you start up. So. All right, let's go and get this puppy apart. Put those ports into the control head, you get all manner of mix-ups. You don't need to know that right now. Best thing, take a photo of it, label them, do whatever you need to do to put them back in the ports they came from. What you do need to know is that this middle port is the product valve. I always call it the product valve. What it does is it makes this movement from here up to there. It I opens and closes. Away from that one, though, no? oh. You use this when you pull it out of its clamp. Okay, so it's the it's the on-off. So that's where you put your air when you put it in there. Can you pop that in there, please? Can you it in, sir? Open. If we do that. Um, that was to get it out of this clamp. That's to get it, no, it's to get it out of the, out of the manifold. Okay, to pull it up out of, out of its body. Oh, right. right. When you put these things together, what you should hear is you should hear two movements. You should hear a shh, and a thump. Shh. So. Good. Yeah. Shh. Listening. Either. If you don't hear that, something's not right. And what's happening is, we'll show you on this manifold later, this is exactly what we're doing. Should we go there first? Yep. Yeah. Probably just turn it on here. Yep. Uh, on the side. We'll put our control head back on as well. Yeah. You put the magnet on or what? Oh, well. Look at that. Thanks for telling me. Perfect. And this is the other thing, you know, you shadow each other. If you're in a, in a team, shadow each other. Yeah. You know, because this stuff does happen. Perfect example of it. Alright. The old this thing top, you used to have to push it down and you had such a big gap in here. Yeah. So you have to push it down over those toggles. Right? You usually push it down. And you turn one way or you turn the other way. Mm. Doesn't matter which way. Again, it all came about your alignment of the LED. And then you had to do the grub script. Alright? The new head don't have to do that. Right? It's basically straight on. It's going to find its own centre. Which is handy. And as you can see, I'm not familiar with these heads, I haven't done hardly anything. And and I've done it because I thought those posts were this way. Yeah, I was just going to say, I thought we'd turn it to the right position. <laughs> got, the last guy did the same thing, probably. Yep. Here's that guy. 
Right, have we got the line? Have we got power, put everything on? Yep, you're all juiced up, good to go. Right. Right, and they'll give you a value to tighten these grub screws even. I think it's, Jesus, not even two new screws and something ridiculous. But what they're saying is, don't be rough. Don't screw these things right in there. What yeah. you saying? What's going on here? Did somebody get me this? Yeah, no, nah, no, nah. yeah, check it out. Okay, I'm trying to look at it. Is that the next thing? We've got no lights up. I wonder why. Okay. Maybe I've got the head on the wrong one. Look at that. There's a wet prism. It's just one LED that shines up. And yeah. So okay, so there's something we need to know anyway. Yeah, because it's just. Um, Imagine the sparkies are taking a couple of weeks to figure out. that out. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to disconnect this for a bit just to say. Just to sort of uh, demonstrate that there's a fault or something. And we'll pop that on again. Has it gone out? Yeah. You don't generally get to see, you don't generally get to see it. You know how it's sitting hard yeah, up yeah, yeah, yeah. that when it hits this body, how that splits to give it its mix proof section. So if you see that, okay. see how there's the top O-ring there and the bottom? So when he energizes, once it goes back in mm -hmm. well, back to the de-energize, you'll see that it'll split, split apart. Right. So first thing this morning I said to you, what's important to, to understand about this valve? This is your lower plug here, right? Yeah. And it's a radial seal. So it yeah. seals on the outside, yeah. right? This is your upper plug and it's a lineal seal. And so it seals down in this movement here, yeah. actually, yeah. right? When you push it, the noise that you hear, the shh, dunk, shh, is exactly that plug coming up into the upper plug and then making the movement. And that's the product. If you turn the valve, you say to the operator, turn the valve on, please. Right. Turn the valve off, please. Has anyone got a marker here? Yeah. Right. I might have already had oh, I've already put one on there. Okay. So when you're doing these, you've done a couple in the row, you know, you've done a whole manifold or whatever. Sometimes you just put your paint mark on the bottom of there, right? Then you do your your movement and make sure that it comes back. Remember I said inside that stem, inside here, you can cause damage if you over tighten. Well that line won't come back to where it is. I mean that's just a check. Usually out in the field, those things are greasy and got bloody crap all over them. Right. So that's right. Hard to get a mark on them. Part of our servicing. So which which plug should I see move? Upper seat lift. Top, 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 top one. Did it work? No. no. Yeah. You sure? Didn't work. Oh, so maybe I have to hold it on. Yep. yep. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so what happens is that when they're CIP, they pulse that. They can just pulse that. We can have a proxy in there, put a proxy in there and have it, but generally we don't. Okay? So you're doing your CIP. What's happening is that you've got product running down here. Your CIP in on the top body. They'll come along. Just lift it. And that just gives it a clean underneath the seat. Gives it a little clean and then it drains up the bottom here. Yeah. So it goes up through the middle of the lowest plug and just drains to the bottom. And you'll see that once we pull it apart as you can probably already have it. Right, we'll do the opposite lift. Put it lower. Lower. And when, so it, it, when it does that, that's where you get that spiro clean out because the, the tolerance between the O-ring and the body of the, the valve is so fine that it like increases in velocity yeah. or some shit. The, the, the seals are really only cleaning when they're opening. Like if you open a valve fully open, there's no velocity past the seal to clean them. So, so these, the beauty of these over the old generation is when you do a CIP function, that, that thing top would energize, back to your HMI, validate, come back, and close. But that's all waste. So basically you're just running to waste. Where these things just go open, close, yeah. open, close. So then your operators, they can configure seven pulses. Yeah. So you've just saved 50 litres of water per CIP cycle 
the valve. Yeah. Mm. Pulse tool. Pulse based. Pulse based, yeah. yeah. So there you go. So now we're going to pull the valve apart. It's important that I show you that, and this is, we didn't have this ability until we had this, this made. Mm. Do the lower seat again? Yep, yep. lower seat. There. Okay. See the gap in between? Runs through there. So that's the bottom. And down through there. Because it's got, so it's got two different Once we pull the plugs apart, it's yeah, not yeah. makes sense. Yeah, so you're basically a real small gap that it's coming hmm. up and through. It's got a fucking tiny gap. Yeah, mind you. Oh, there you go, that's so there you go, there's, there's that there. There go. So the product goes along, that's that bottom one. Yeah. So it comes along, up, over, and then down. And then yeah. down. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Ah. That's, if you even get milk coming out of that front yeah. here, yep. it's telling you that yeah. one of these yeah. will yeah. fail. Because it's coming out the... Yeah. Because it's the CIP's not yeah. Because yeah. that's basically the telltale. This one is usually failing. Pop a whole heap of... Um, don't muck around with it, just slap it on there. Because what you're trying to do is use hydraulic into your benefit. And I've said if you had another uh, ring in there to put in that, you could, you could demonstrate, because I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, worst case, case scenario is take the O-ring out and put this down, the same deal. Just fill up that gap with a whole lot of uh, excess lubricant and pop it down, and or put the new one on. Uh, when you're removing the seals from the place, do it in a proper manner too. Don't use the don't use the um, the valve as a as a don't don't be doing it like this, you know. Okay. Poke this right in here and then pop it out, and I'll show you when we go throw one in here. So we get started. Oh yeah. It's when we take the, the valve out of the body, okay, we can we only put air in the product port. That lifts this up off its seat, takes the tension off, and then we can undo the clamp and take the valve out. Once we've got the valve, and we'll do it right now. I pull it off its seat because this is sitting down on its seat there, it's loaded, yes, and then I can undo this clamp. I might need a bit of assistance here because this is quite heavy. Pass that around and tell me what you're seeing. Was one of the questions? All, all, the, all of those ones on our side will shit can. We need double clamps because of that. The ones. Yeah. In yeah, particular, sure. the, we've had them shared. Them. Yeah, because wow. I've been over tightened. Yeah. So we've gone double clamps because we lost you. Remember yeah. that? We lost 150 Q with raw milk with one of those popping on. Ah, you see, we've got to pass around that day. Yeah, filled <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. up the um, the bun. Ah, yeah. that you've got three compartments in here. Yeah. All right, and they're all doing an individual job, and they don't work simultaneously. They don't all work together. So when this is inside the manifold. It's loaded. With all the air off it, this here is actually loaded. So putting pressure on what the spring on. That's right, on everything it's yep. loaded. So when you've got it out of here, you've lost that load, therefore you've got some tolerances in here that if you put air on there, you're gonna cause problems. Cool. All right? All you need to know, don't put air there. <laughs> Simple. But, good question. All right, so there I have moved what? What plug am I moving? Upper seat, right? Upper seat. Upper seat. Okay, remember? Upper, Upper. lower. It's an ask about face. And you watch this plate, this is the one we need. And you go quick release. You can't be asked. This is what happens if you've got a lot of these sitting on the floor, that's what why you do it. Okay, and you're you asking about that sound, yeah? Okay, so we'll pull the plugs apart. So to get the plugs apart, ideally, we need to now put air on here and take the tension off. You can still do it. Okay. Uh, 27. We need a 27. I usually use just a, if you've got a nice spanner, a 16 or a 15, maybe? 16. 16's a weird size. Sometimes there's just, again, it depends. Or 16. Uh, can we try both, please, uh, Paul? The reason being. I'm pretty sure it's a 16. 16 can. Well, we're not taking these cuts here. Oh, 
Um, okay, so Nick just asked the question. He said, do I take apart the coupling yet? No, leave the coupling there. Yeah. Yeah, well, okay. right. Now see, stop there. Mm -hmm. That's with the air off. That's okay because we're not worrying about our torque at the moment. We're undoing it. Ideally, now we should be we can now undo that. So what I'm saying to you here is that it's okay to undo it with the air off. But it's not what you need to do. Because I'm replacing those seals, right? So it doesn't really matter. But what I'm doing is I'm putting tension in here. When I torque this back up, I'm giving myself a false sense of torque if these are enclosed in each other. So that's why we take them off. And it's a lot easier. If you're doing this by yourself, you'll probably find you put your knee in the eye out and screw it off. So you don't ever take that cup off? Not yet. Off. Now I can do my coupling. If you do that, you've got this all rattling around. Yeah. All right. And I'm usually trying to set the coupling and where the CIP flush would go. Uh, 10 mil. Yep, 10 mil. Or... It's actually, it's about an 8 mil. Oh, right. It's a 9 mil. Mm -hmm. Is that this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Try that, John. Is that the right size? No, no, it's fine. Oh, no. No, it's not the right size. I mean, all those things help, eh? Here off. That was pretty hard to get off, this one. Now, why is that? Didn't that puppy slide back? It should slide back, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the big things is you end up putting all the valve back together again, and you. <laughs> you leave your, yeah, you yeah, leave your apron on you. Take them off yeah. Okay, if you get the small O-rings in there on the kit, yeah. put them in, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. It's up to you. But unless you've got a flush hose in there, they're not necessary. You're not going to cause any damage or anything. But what sometimes it helps, it helps keep that little coupling in, in yeah. place for you. But it's very important when we line these back up that we do it correctly because there's a lot of stuff that can go on in here. There's a taper on here, and the taper that I said that you could crush is this one here. See this crush? If you screw this in too much, have a look up inside there and see where it goes. Right. It's not very thick in there, is it? It's not very thick in there. Yeah. So if you pull that up real tight, you'll flare it out. Mm. And that has to travel up and down inside the actuator bits and bobs inside. Give me a runner. Mm. Okay. So this is a 100 mil. What's the torque setting on this lower plug? 20. Stuff. Okay, let's do some Alright. Soft yours. I'm happy. And I'm taking the seal off out of here. This is what I do. I pop that right in there, dig it in deep, lift it up, pull it out. And that's it. Okay. When I go to put the new one on, mm -hmm. look, look. as I said, it's symmetrical. This is the problematic one, remember? Which one? This one up there doing right now. And that's not the asymmetrical, is that what you're saying? Yeah, that, that one is not. What I need to show you, see the two ribs that are feeling in there? Yep. Right, there's each of you can have a seal. You can have a look at it yourself. Ah. Pass it around. Because you're going to be doing this. You have to do each of these. Are these all the same these puppies in here? They all, so don't get them mixed up with the other one. Okay. Alright. See the, the band and the ridges in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, hold on to that ridge. Put it onto the... Which way up? Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. It's symmetrical. Right. See I've got my thumb there? Yeah. Another way you can do this, if you had troubles doing it one, with one pick, is use two picks. Alright, now see how it folded in here? That's the bad stuff, that's the Ethan stuff we're talking yeah. about, right? You've just got to get in right. So what you need to do is load it properly. That's just what I need. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Right, so he's ready to go into the tool. Other plug. Oh, Pop him in there. That's the interesting thing. Yeah, yeah. uh, who had that bag that we got these out of? Yeah. <laughs> right, don't don't crush these, alright? Don't crush these you stems. Back in the bag. In the in the vice. Okay, so I'm right. I've got a set of jaws on my vice. 
that's got the little 45s, the little mitres cut out yeah. of them, you find it because it's good to locate, you might get yeah. our boss to get us some. You don't have to do so much hard force, you know? Right. I'm <laughs> right. Okay, same deal. Plugging this in here. Digging deep in, not to the bottom where I'm going to scrape it, just enough to get enough dirt in there to do that. You through the heart in there, didn't you? Yeah, no, don't fuck around. It kills it. Yeah. Make sure I've got a new kit for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's in for <laughs> Specifically, somebody has to pinch the one out of the kit yeah. you're just about to right. use. The old ones, we've got an old pile. Yep. Very important that one. Okay. Okay, so as I said to a few of you, right, hold it like an ice cream. This is really important. Hold your stem like an ice cream. That's usually across the whole range of belts, right? Taper to taper is another catch cry. Taper to taper. Looking down in here, you see the taper at the bottom edge. The taper. Can you see that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yep. Hold it like an ice cream. Have a look at the seal. See the taper? The 45, the mitre, whatever you want to call it. Taper to taper. Can you? Okay, you can see the taper. So it's exactly it's like the corresponding bevel and the valve. Load yeah, the seal. You've got it on. No. Yeah. So you can, you can load the seal. If you want to load the seal, by all means, load the seal. You don't have to. You know, you don't, you don't have to. Yeah, that's what you just put it on, just sitting above it. We'll yeah. try both ways, yeah? Yeah. Well, you're going to have eight attempts or seven attempts or whatever, so. Oh. So we don't have to, you've got a fast Okay. Loop. Well, I normally just use yeah, my, yeah. My, my seal paper, right? Because it takes twists out. And the same deal as when you're doing the bonnet on here, okay? Same deal. Don't poke into the steel, just poke into the rubber and just try and wedge yeah. it off like that. Yeah. When you put it back on, hold it there like this. Put your pick in. And just go once around like that. Mm. It takes the twist out sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? And then the, the amount of lubricant that's on your hands is no. usually enough. All it's got to do is. Ah, 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 <laughs> that's that's right. Right. I'll take off that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to be real tight, it just has to be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so stop there. <laughs> right, what we do is, we do, and this is a habit that's come about from us doing the lower plate. But it's something that can just, just do it anyway, you know, it doesn't it? Just turn it on, dry another, another dry. Okay. Back it up. Now, this is true. Oh, yeah. This is fine. Is it out there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, here's uh, my little blue screwdriver. A little blue one. Come in here. If you're going to bleed it, you're holding it like an ice cream. Now we're talking burp. I'll do this one and do the next one. Yeah. Okay, I've never seen the burp before. Right. So just going to hear something. So I'm going to, yep. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 120 Mercedes Benz. Yep. All the pieces on. Can I get a close listen? Uh, it no, won't do it again. Now. You've already got it. Yeah, it's what one just. Or something, and just get those off and make them nice and smooth. Okay. All right. Well, because if you start to get it, because we're talking about trying to squeeze something. What will happen is I'll put this in, and then you get those four dots. Yep. And then I'll go and get my little screwdriver. That on it. And the other thing I also learned is uh, if you put air pressure on, don't let it and open it. So it uh, it's a quick shock to the cell, that's what happened in pot. It works. Nice and Sharp shock is usually what you want when you start to put elastomers into seal plugs, you know? You want quick and fast in there. And like I said, residence time is what you want. You want to hold it there. Yeah. You know, that initial shock is what gets you there, but hold it there so that the pressure equalises. Remember, you've got this big surface area. Mm. Alright, so you want it to work, so off you go there. Look. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for this here. There we go. That's worked. It's come right up to the substance. Yeah. So wait. Just wait. I wanted that to go even on all four completely around the circumference. Mm. Sometimes you'll find that that will be here and that'll be lower. Mm. And what is happening, that's then now Tilting, it's tilting that seal. So now let the air off, please. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Look for the pull. Try to turn it up here. Can you look at it? Oh, yeah. That, yeah. 
Stop here. 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 If we moved it 90 degrees, we'd go back into the same holes. Okay. So what do we need to move? 180 one. Oh, 45. 45. No, no. 45? 45, sorry. Yes. Okay. Try again. Yeah. Right. Just a little residence oh, time. Sorry. Quick, mate. It's too quick. Yeah. Okay. See that. Alright. Okay. okay. Take the cone off and see how we go. Okay. Those mix proofs are horrible valves. I hate those mix proofs. Are we burping this? Yes. Now, you're going to burp this thing? No, you won't hear it so much in this valve because it's symmetrical. Okay. And hopefully we haven't loaded it too much, but if you want to try and do that, yeah. Because this is a technique that you need to be, be shown and to do because you'll be surprised how many of you, after me saying this to you, will come back and you'll be pointing that steel pick right down and putting a hole in it. And you won't even know. Uh, so you won't okay. it on this one. That's it. So push it down with your thumb and then in it. You should feel metal on metal. You'll go dunk into the metal. Yep. Got it. See? Simple, eh? Not yeah, much force. You don't need any force. You just need to use the right technique. And it's there. Now what you're looking for... We can do it now. Chris. Yep. You'll probably find because the tools are nice and new. Something's going to happen. Yeah. We need to make it faster. Alright, so, okay, do that. Just a Monday sale, this one. No, it's not playing the game at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 200 to do, and they all do this. It's fucking oh. painful. Yeah, it would be, it would be painful, but. It'll go in there, it's going to go easy for you. So now I go to the edges that I know are high, right? And I go there, there, and on the back here we'll go there and there. Yep. Okay? And if you just do that, just look down inside and you can see. And use the edge of your press. All that thing is just loading on the side. Every once in a while, give it a full blow. Pop it in and give it a form. And just lift it for a bit. Lift it for a bit. Yeah. Remembering what I'm saying, you've got to give stuff time to equalise. It'll equalise and then all of a sudden it'll just go. You're pretty close now. Maybe? No? I'm telling lies. Okay. okay. That was a brand new shield here as well. Not quite, so that bit. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. So now, put your force on that side. Yep. And if you can, on either side of it. It's just like anything else. Like you would with a screwdriver, just do, do exactly the same. Slow down, bro. Now give it, a, give it another one on the centre. Give it a hold. Could be you, mate. Could be you. Okay. Beautiful. See, we probably give up halfway before we get there in the path. That's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't go, we fight it, and it does the half, yeah. but we just never. Odd little go. funny, but eh? Okay, yeah. And you'll probably find that's more due to the damage on the plug. That yeah. plug is, like I say, 20 years old, maybe. More than twice, you're stretching it, you're doing it. Yeah, yeah. So, you always want to have some spare kits when you're doing this kind of series. Where's another one here? Small one, you shouldn't have to touch that one. Okay, so this here now is going to go in there, right? And that's going to go in there, and these just sleeve in here. Okay, same deal. Just warm it up with your hands too. Get that all nice and warm. Put it, you know, you've got enough, probably enough stuff all over your hands, just to give it a little bit, of, rather than be dry. Dry and horrible. No, no. Come back into your tool again. Yeah, no, other way. 
Load the tape of the tapers down. Yep, you've got it. You got it. Now that's where you come undone. That sleeve flips over like that, and the guys aren't aware of it when they put the press on it. Just crush it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You're good to go. Nick, has he, he's got it right? Yep. Hold it there, mate. Just leave it there. One tomato, one potato, two potato. Five potatoes. Five potatoes. <laughs> Just give it 10 seconds. And, uh, right, come off now. Just give it, give it a quick bump. I think you might have got it. Oh, I reckon that's straight on. Yeah, there. you might have got it. Oh, no, maybe Sorry. that one looks a bit tight. Yeah. See, Nick's known, you've seen it now, eh? You know what you're looking for. No, there's yeah, the way. halfway. That's yeah. the way. So come in from each side, yes? One on this side, one on that side. Yep. Just chase it around. That's right, just push on that way. Put your bit. fingers under there, brother. That's yeah. right, just push on that bit, eh? Yep, yep. On either end where it's still out. And then pop it under the give it another one. Pull it underneath. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Almost. Almost there. Yeah, there yep. concentrate on that area now. I find this way is a lot easier on the seal. I don't know if you've encountered it yet with the steel tools, but sometimes when you get that in the fork or the sling. We can actually fork into the seal and cut it. Yeah, you yeah. found that before? I'm not surprised that the seal on the side was under that thing that started at the end. It's going strong. Yeah. Everything's flexing. That plate at the top is flexing. Yeah. The only plate that I re strengthened was the one that was because we want it to be perpendicular. Mm -hmm. It's definitely possibly good, you know? You can see it's just a tiny bit, not quite there. Just give it some time. Yeah. Give, it a, give it a boot and a pop pop. Yeah. Not 100% there. Fill it in. Tiny a little bit. Yeah, how big? How big? Like a centimeter? Yeah. It should be the top. Yeah. And you just pop it in the screwdriver. I mean, try and persevere if you like, I wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. Because we're seeing some danger there. Yeah. Right. So, up of course, again, those holes, those bleed holes are really important. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah mate. Uh, am I? It'll be fine. 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 So that was the first thing you can do. When I put that on to that, on the bench, my seal, if you saw me with my seal, if I got the twist out of it, it can still happen. So you've just got to be mindful. Pop it on. Is the up the right one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Oh! No! This is the most damage when you're pulling this out of the manifold. Yeah. The guys go, clang. So this is what's going to happen when you see it upside yeah. down. Put the air into your fork. Yeah. Yeah. Fork. Middle. 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 And I'm sorry to just carry on about this, but I need to get this stuff yeah. in here to plant these seeds, you know, so they want to mold here. And if you've got no help around, you can you know, hopefully pick it up, remember it. Lovely. Lovely. Clump, clump, clump. Looks like it should go down some more, doesn't it? Just the time that we would it be lining the yeah. church nut. Should well, be. Like it, but I guess well normally it would have the yeah, actuator yeah. weight on it. Which <laughs> so what you out. will be looking so for again is remember the LED up on top? The, the little airport the yep. up cool. here? Yeah. If you were going to put the old base to, uh, top on it, yeah, that's what you'd have to be mindful of where that LED yeah. is going to line up. Where well, yeah, that will be. And it doesn't matter. You can alter it when it goes. On there. Yep. Perfect. So, talking about centralising and centralising the valve now, this isn't a great um, situation to do it because it, obviously the valve's upside down. Mm. Right, but we need to, if I can explain it to you, it will help. And once you're in the field, you'll know. You'll know what you're doing. Okay, so not too tight. So, what you want to do now is with this, it's just now manipulated. And it'll come down on its seat, remember? Yeah. See how, how long it takes? Now, on an SSV when you do this, this will load up and then when you take it off its seat, it'll go easy again. And that's what you want to do, you want to be able to do See, straight away we've closed the gap again. Yeah. Okay. 
can hear it very normally, they can't touch me. But I hope they get close, so I'm happy to take it off. See there? Yeah, it's pretty much. That's what I want. I just want to exaggerate that, basically. I want to make sure that's on its seat. It's trying to find its own centre, yeah. and then I'm just going to let it off just ever so quite like that, yeah. and go back. And that's when I do that final fighting. And we're doing it from up here anyway, you know, upside down, you know. And the same deal. And then we put the ceiling element on here. Yeah. Now, the other thing, if you're, if you're looking at that 10 newton metres and, and the, the condition of your clamp, is yeah. that those faces there want to be parallel. They don't want to be like that, and they don't want to be like that. Okay, and if they are, to get the effective tightness, you've, you've stretched your clamp. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so what was your remedy to, to fix that when you lost double, your... Double the So they just a double saddle. saddle right. yeah. yeah, gotcha. But again, that's in, if you looked after it, you did the right thing, you probably would never have to do that. Hopefully. And if it continued to happen, then you'd have to be looking at, is it the right application? Okay, so okay, can we put this topic. upper ceiling element on there? Okay, yeah. Yep. Um, where is it? And the drive. That. Dunk it in there. Pop it on there. There you go. Now that way, upside down, is a lot more. You yeah. know you haven't got your diagram. Right. Yeah. You mm. put this on first and start you're trying to put that in there. Too you're much. opening yourself up to the potential of popping out that yeah. diagram or out to that seat. Just um, because I just that other clamp. Is this the tin of your, your thing? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, no. Oh, you can't. Yeah, huh? Okay. And look at our blue line, it's already there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, right. How, how, yeah, go easy, go nice it's and easy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you might have climbed over. You're not feeling me. Yeah, you've got to go easy. Yeah. That's easy. What, no, but yeah. it's not even clicking. How's the torque range? Yeah, yeah you put it in the vice, see if it'll actually click. Parallel. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. And it has, hasn't bent it in too much? No. Here we go. Can we do this one as well? Yeah. And it's just settling into that. Yeah, that's it. See, what I'm doing is pushing it down on the seat and just breaking it off. Because it's such a big sum, it takes a lot longer to do it. And that's why I'm saying like, I get fed up with it. I just pop it out and put it back in. Yeah. Okay. And there you go. And look at your faces on your, on your clamp, see? Relatively parallel. Yeah. 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 Well done. Back in the box. Is that how it came out? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Actuated. The size of ours, and he actually. So how do you actuate it? Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah, your fingers twice the size of everybody else. You can't help but be too. Yeah. I see it now. Oh, I've got to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you have to do these for it. Definitely sparse, but the material. <coughs> you do them by hand. No, you can. By hand. And yeah. What's big finger? They push it and just okay. twist. Yeah. Leave the white tail. So what you want to do is you pop it in. I think you can lock these ones on. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, use them as isolation. Yeah. The Again, use use a real root, use the right tool. What used to happen long time ago when they had these? They're in a the corner, right? Our Pentier had them. Right? People were trying to get in there with everything, like yeah, really? Lincoln key, and and you ended up you ended up wrecking Better these. Look at that, mate. <laughs> it's a good size white tail. Wow. Is that came out? Yeah, yeah. You sure it's not a cell phone? Everything's big down here, you know. It came out of your box. Wow. Actually, a guy last year, a Fonterra employee lost his wings in one of those BC bells. Okay, he was in the yoke, taking the clip off. Airline popped off, and what we put it down to, and it had a Keystone head on. I don't know if you guys are familiar with PTA Keystone Tyco, all the same company. They were originally Keystone, then they went to Tyco, and now they're Pentier. Mm. Basically, they've been sold and bought, sold and bought. All right? But their heads have these little solenoids. This is the only thing I'm not liking about this new model. 
I prefer a little toggle thing. Yeah. Yeah. You physically put your finger on it and you move it. Yeah, what you happens, can get it off quick. And on emergency you can do it You've got your fucking finger, you don't get the screwdriver in the slot, will you? Yes, and what happens is that of course everybody gets in and has a play with these, and in no time that slot then becomes wrecked. Yeah. Or, and you go to put it on, as did happen in the root cause of this case, the guy had it on, a vibration came, he bumped the valve or some bumped the valve, and that unclipped. Yeah. Got him. And he actually tore his finger off. So he probably might have had still had it before you do something. Um, I think I might put on it as a leaflet, and it says that to, I'm saying that to you is do your task and then take your ear. Lose your ear, take your ear off, switch yeah. it off, do whatever. But even that's dangerous too, because you might have it still connected, you move the valve, and as we know, the taps can move, can't they? Mm -hmm. They get caught on yeah. And it'll go through the motions. Watch. Is that all you do to make it stick? How easy is that? Okay. Mm. Push one button, hold it. It's yeah. energized, push it again. The fact that you have to do this is a problem. You know, mm. why didn't they just have a bit of a nut that you screwed on and, and held the whole thing together? So the valve lines are basically, the guide plate will need the spring, the plug will be there. What this is about, put a bit of silicon on there, and hold that down while the mate, and then pops the top on and aligns them, and you swivel them out like that. Now you can use rulers, but rulers have got really sharp edges on them, and they'll pick up that gasket around, and they'll pick up that uh, seal there, and they'll just tip it out. And sometimes you'll actually get it, you think you've got it, and then next time you go to check it, it'll all be... So that's that's what I'm saying to you. Get get two of you to do it if you can. People are and go, oh, I can do it. No, I've got it, mate, I've got it. You know, and you just know. You know so save yourself some, some grief further down the track. Put some valve knives it, it helps. And a minute you can do it, you will do it simply that. And you might be for when you're ordering a kit for these SP that comes with the kit, right? Your numbers will be uh, two something, like 275, 273, 274, right? If it's an old uh, um, 